What's up YouTube? Okay, so I'm back again with another video. I'm here in my DC apartment, so if my background looks a little bit different, it's because I'm in DC, I'm gonna be here for the whole summer. Um, yeah, so I know I look crazy right now. I know my hair is wet. Um, I'm leaving for Vegas in just a few hours, so I'm filming this video because I want to put it up before UT orientation starts. I'm pretty sure it starts next week. So these are my do's and don'ts of UT orientation. Um, I hope these tips help. You might be excited, you might be nervous. Um, orientation is just a crazy few days. There's a lot going on, but hopefully these tips help you guys because I want you guys to be well equipped when you go there. If you follow these tips, I think you'll be good. You should be fine if you follow these tips. So, so my first tip for orientation is to one, seriously my number one tip is to not stress. Like. Do not stress, you will be okay, I promise you. I know it's really, really stressful. You're doing a million things at orientation, um, especially registration. Registration is insanely stressful, but it'll be okay. Remember that orientation honestly does not really make any kind of impact on your college career whatsoever. Like I remember coming into orientation thinking that I had to make my best friend and I can promise you right now that that is not true. Like. Who you meet at orientation could become your best friend for the rest of your college career, but likely that's not gonna happen. Like part of what makes orientation so awkward is the fact that everyone is so pressed on becoming friends. But I went to orientation with my high school boyfriend, so I really didn't meet that many people just because I was with him basically most of the time. And I was fine. Like I ended up making plenty of friends by the time I got to UT. Um, so don't worry about like trying to meet everyone. Like you literally are there for like what three days. So you're not gonna meet everyone. Also, my other tip, my second tip is you really, really, really do want to meet a lot of people when you're at orientation. It's a lot easier to do it when you're on your own. If you go in knowing someone, like if you're going to orientation with a friend, if you're going with a boyfriend, any of those things, make sure that you're not letting that person limit the other interactions that you are making. Make sure you're taking time to go off and do your own thing and also don't be afraid to be alone. Like that's another thing too about orientation is I think people feel like they have to be around people 24 7 and it's like take some alone time. Take some like take a breather in your dorm. Take a nap when you need to. Make sure you're getting that time for yourself because it's really 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 important for your like own mental health that you're not like overdoing it. Um, I think that's really important. Um, my next tip is to make sure that you have a plan. Like going into orientation, have a plan for the things that you, for all the questions that you have, for anything that you need to ask, especially related to your major. Go in with a plan, go in with questions that you want answered because orientation is the best time to ask them. And if it helps you, I would like write them down. Like I wish I had maybe gone into orientation with like a notebook full of questions or like some questions in my notes on my phone because there's so many things to figure out and a lot of those things you're not really just going to figure out until you just get to UT. But you can definitely prepare yourself really well if you go into orientation knowing what you um, need and knowing what you need to be answered. So make sure you go into orientation with a plan because that will definitely help you a lot. Um, I don't know why I'm so out of breath today. Next tip is hugely important. Make sure that you bring water everywhere you go at orientation. I'm warning you right now, if you're not from Texas, if you're not used to being on a college campus, you will be doing a lot of walking at orientation. And also it's really, really, really hot in Austin in the summer. So make sure that you have water with you everywhere you go. Make sure you bring a water bottle. There's constantly, there's gonna be places to fill it up, but just make sure you have a water bottle on you because you will literally be exhausted by the end of each day because of the amount of walking that you're doing. So make sure that you bring a water bottle. Make sure you also bring um, good shoes to walk in. Like don't try to be cute. Like it's not that serious. You also don't really need to bring like that many cute clothes. I mean, you can obviously bring like an outfit to go out in if you wanna go out. Um, but you don't need to bring like the cutest clothes. I'm pretty sure there's one day where you like have to wear a t-shirt or where they like encourage you to wear a UT t-shirt. So like you're not going to be that cute at orientation. It's just a warning. So if you're a girl and you're like, what do I bring? Like what clothes do I bring? Um, maybe bring like one going out outfit. But other than that, bring like t-shirts. Bring clothes that you'll be comfortable in because you're going to want to be comfortable. There's going to be a lot going on at orientation. I'll just tell you that right now. Um, and there's going to be a lot of different things that you can do. Um, don't put too much on your plate because you're going to be exhausted and you're not going to really enjoy it the same way that you should if you had just like 
done a few things and called it a day so yeah definitely don't try to do too much because you're just literally going to be exhausted and you're going to be over it by the time the weekend comes another tip is to venture out into austin you can go check out my like things to do in austin video and that'll give you a lot of really good tips on like things that you can actually go and try out and do you can go with your family you can go with friends um but i definitely suggest exploring austin a little bit just because there's more to see than just UT. My last tip is going to have to do with black UT. So if you're in black UT, this specifically pertains to you, um, make sure you go to Fay, Texas. If you're black and you're looking to meet black students on campus, there's only 4% of us, make sure you go to Fay, Texas. They have it, um, I'm pretty sure, each week of orientation. It's like everyone goes, it's really, really fun. It gets to know people in your class, but also the upperclassmen. Um, pretty much anyone who's in Austin and who's in the black community at UT, um, goes to Faye, Texas almost every week. Um, it's gonna be a good time. So I wish I could go this year, but I can't because I'm gonna be in DC. But so go pub it all over Twitter. You'll see what day it is. Get on Twitter if you're not already on Twitter because yeah, Black UT Twitter is definitely popping a lot. I've heard that UT23 is kind of like no one like no one knows where y'all are because y'all are not like active on Twitter. And I think it's really funny just because like the last class like UT22 was like all over Twitter. Um. And that's pretty much it on my tips y'all i didn't really have a whole lot of tips for orientation like my biggest thing is just to not stress um if you guys want to message me while you're at orientation feel free to do that i actually will have a, like a lot more free time to answer my messages so yeah comment down below if you guys are going to ut orientation this year and um comment which days you guys are going you guys can maybe like meet each other and you know find other people before you even get there so hopefully that helps yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day